20 kin, me and my dad and my son and a friend of his, we decided to go up in Bush Hog. A matter of fact, it was just about this time of year, July. And in 2010, we really had the cicadas here in Tennessee. It was really bad. And so I remember that because we went up and we were going to Bush Hog, one of our big fields. And I told my son and his friend, they were probably about, let's say, probably about 13, 14 years old. I said, I'm going to do most of bush hawking you know my dad had gotten up in age so i just told him to sit in the truck you know the air conditioner room or, or sit under i parked the truck the truck up underneath a, a shade tree and i would do most of the bush hawking and the kids could go you know do what they wanted to and they said that they wanted to go walk the logging road too there's a, a little pond off the logging road and they wanted to go check it out and see if there's any deer tracks around it because you know that area was always wet and you could see you know deer tracks and and this kids they they loved seeing that so and i said okay so i made probably one good loop around this field this field's probably about three football fields long it's it's, it's a big field so as i'm coming around uh, coming back up towards where I started, I look up and I see the kids. I mean, they, they're running a full blast back down towards the truck from the logging road. And so I, you know, I'm thinking, well, they didn't stay long. So I see them heading towards the, the tractor. And when they got down to me, I you know, stopped the tractor. And, and they were both out of, out of breath and they were just, you know, you could tell something had happened and so i shut the tractor off and i said what's wrong and then my son looked up and he said dad dad big real big real big and i was like did you see a big buck and so we got a big buck up on here and he said no and so the friend with him she said no oh, mr paul she said you know they call him a bigfoot and i said what you know and he said dad there was nothing that you could do. He said, it, it was huge, big. He said, I said, wait a minute, calm down. Tell me what happened. And so after I got him calmed down, she told me, his friend said that we got to walk in the logging road and we got to the pond and she said, I was leading. Casey was, you know, walking behind me a little ways. He was still looking for whatever he could find, you know, just being a kid. And so... Then we, they, when they got up there to, to the pond, she said she saw something out of the corner of her eye move, and she looked, and there was a, a big tree, and she said something looked out the side of the tree at her, and she thought something's not right. You know, what, what is that? You know, <laughs> and so she stared at it, and kept looking at the, the tree and and so it looks out again. Well then at that time she turned around and she starts going back. Casey's coming up behind her, my son, and she said, Go back. And he's like, What? He said, The pond's just right here. She said, Something's back there, go back. So he starts, you know, okay. So he starts going back and he turns around and he said, I just wanted to see what she's talking about. And he said, I turn and I look, this thing has gone from wherever she said it was at. It was up on us about, oh, 30 yards. And he said, Dad, it was standing there at the long road. And he said, the muscles you could see underneath its fur, the hair, the girth on this thing. And he said, it was just, he said, Dad, there's nothing you could have done. I mean, he said it was huge. And I said, what do you, what, what did it do? And he said, Dad, I'm sure it could have caught us. He said, because it went from there to, to, to there so fast. And he said, it just looked at us. And she said, it looked like it was chewing something or something. He said, the, and you could see its bottom teeth like it was chewing or it was either kind of a confused look or it just you know, was just a weird look on his face, like, okay. And so 
he said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm scared. I said, well, look, my dad, you know, he got out. He was kind of chuckling. I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, dad, if you want to make a round, I said, I'm get in the truck. We'll go up here and see where it's at. So we went up, and I remember when I pulled up to where they said that they were standing, I shut the truck off, and the cicadas, which are very noisy, were quiet. It was silent. And so I got out. Of course, it's July. It you know hadn't rained. There's no tracks. You know everything's dry, but eerily quiet. And I just I don't know if it was just a feeling. What I just thought, you know, let's just get out of here. So I got back in the truck. They're still in the truck because they won't get out. 